Could you tell us everything that you may have seen or heard? Uh, I was already in bed when the fireworks started. Please continue. I, I quickly got up and I grabbed the lamp from my nightstand. I looked down and I saw two bodies. Where exactly? Well, near this body. Did he notice you? I don't think so. Mr. Turner, did you see anyone else in the street? No, I saw no one but that man. Were the two shots you heard consecutive? Yes, th there was a very short pause between them, and, and, and they sounded different somehow. It seemed to me that the second shot was louder than the first. That is an interesting comment. Mr. Turner, what were your actions after you stepped up to the window? I was afraid that the man with a gun might return. You have helped us a great... Mrs. Powell? What do you want? My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm assisting the police with their investigation of the crime that took place this evening. Well, I've already gave my testimony, but very well. Could you tell us everything that you may have seen or heard? Yes, yes. I was selling my flowers as usual, and then the fireworks began in honour of Queen Victoria. I enjoyed those. But then, all of a sudden, a young lad ran out of Half Moon Street and stopped just by me. He had a gun in his hand. He was like a ghost and all covered in blood. It was dark, but I could see him because of the flashes from the fireworks. And then? I screamed as loud as I could. He had no time to escape. Two constables got him. Then another constable came out from the very same street Mrs. Powell, did you hear the gunshots? I'm not sure. Did you see anyone else leaving half? No, sir. I did not. Even with all the fireworks, I was very attentive, as I'm always on the lookout for customers. My thanks to you, Mrs. Powell. This mirror is turned towards Half Moon Street. Mr. Turner, you have stated that you remained close by your window after the crime, is that correct? Oh, yes, Mr. Holmes. I stayed at my window until the policeman arrived to examine the dead bodies. That is very interesting, Mr. Turner. Constable Marrow stated that he did not see anyone at the window when he was running through Half Moon Street. Oh, oh, well, I think Constable Marrow and me, we might have been distracted by the whistles and shouts coming from Whitechapel. We could have missed each other somehow. Do you understand what I mean? It was a bit of a stressful moment to tell you the truth, sir. Allow me to form my own theories, Mr. Turner. Uh, not, not at all, Mr. Holmes. Please, follow me. Mr. Turner appears to live very much. This fire is dying out. It was last tended to over an hour ago.
The papers are almost entirely burned. I am unable to see what's written here. These words are illegible. The papers were thrown into the fire. Mr. Turner was roused from his bed by the sound of gunshots. match. So, Mr. Turner broke his stick when it became stuck between the cobblestones. He did not mention that he was so near to... The books on this shelf are in a mess. This kitchen knife is quite sharp. There are pieces of shredded paper scattered over the table. This kitchen knife was used to cut the paper. So, that's the view Mr. Turner had when he opened the window. The dead body of Kenneth Butler. Brian Vercotti's contorted corpse. Mr. Turner had a perfect view of the crime scene. He saw the bodies clearly, and Leighton Chapman standing over them. It didn't happen this way. It didn't happen this way. <laughs> 